Hello everyone! Welcome into the Italian Country Girls Kitchen again. Today we're going to be cooking up a crock pot breakfast casserole. Something easy to make the night before for the next morning or something to make uh, the day of if you would like breakfast for dinner. So uh, come on in my kitchen here and I'm going to show you a quick little easy casserole to throw together in your crock pot. Okay, I have my crock pot over here and what I'm going to do in this bowl is I'm going to crack a dozen of eggs, okay? You need a dozen of eggs and I have uh, one egg missing that I used so it's not going to hurt me but um, here is my dozen of eggs and I'm going to crack this in here. You just crack them all in a big bowl and we're going to mix these up with a little bit of spices and some milk for our crock pot casserole. I just have me a little bowl to the side I call it my trash bowl and I just throw my eggshells in there so that way I can throw them away when I'm done This is a really cool casserole. I've made it before. And you use sausage in it, which is really good. Okay. Now I have my all my eggs in here. And um, now in my 12 eggs, I'm gonna uh, mix it up just a little bit, okay? I'm going to go on and just mix it a little bit. I have an impulse blender here that I use uh, that I'm going to use and mix these up a little bit. If you don't have an impulse blender, that's okay. You can whisk it or whatever you want to do. I do recommend an impulse blender because they're really awesome. They come in handy in the kitchen. Okay, now we're going to add in, we have our dozen of eggs. Now we're going to add in a cup of milk, okay? And I've already measured out a cup of milk for us. And I'm going to pour a cup of milk in here. And, uh... Now we're going to add a little bit of salt and plenty of pepper, okay? And it's kind of your own taste. I don't use a lot of salt. Uh, I'm gonna sprinkle some in here because this is for a big casserole. We do use quite a bit of pepper. Um, there's no measurements for the salt and pepper for this recipe. It is just your preference, okay? So I'm gonna put up quite a bit of pepper and then the hidden ingredient that makes this taste lovely is uh, ground mustard. You can get it in your spices section and you want a tablespoon of ground mustard. I've measured that out for us. So I'm gonna put the ground mustard into my liquid here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, mix all of this well, okay? We're just gonna mix all this together. All right, so now we have all of that mixed together and I've already pre-cooked our sausage right here, as you can see. Um, it is a, a 16 ounce uh, like container or tube of ground sausage is what it is and or sausage to grind up and you can get any flavor you want. I have the all natural kind, the organic, but you can get like maple and whatever you want to kind of add to it if you want to. So let me see if I can tilt this over here out of the way. All right, now, what we're gonna do here is we are gonna take our crock pot. I'm gonna move this egg mixture behind me a little bit. And I'm gonna pull this crock pot up here so you guys can see it, I already have it plugged in. And um, I wanna pull this up here so you can see it. It's just a normal size crock pot. 
and uh, so what you want to do is you want to take some cooking spray I have some um, just smart balance cooking spray and you want to spray the inside of your crock pot well okay so I've sprayed really well my crock pot and then I want to take uh, some hash browns 26 ounce bag I like the shredded ones so the shredded ones are a 30 ounce bag so I'm gonna take my hash browns and cut them open here my frozen hash browns and you're gonna put that in the bottom of your crock pot okay we're just gonna mix this up get the chunks out if it's still kind of frozen and we have our hash browns in here okay and uh let's see and then on top of our hash browns we're gonna add our sausage and that's my pre-cooked sausage I'm gonna add that to it and then we're gonna add some cheese uh, let me see here and you want uh, let's see 16 ounces of cheese this uh, right here is eight ounces of uh, Colby Jack that I have and I'm gonna reach over here and grab my Monterey Jack that I'm gonna put in this too All right, so I'm going to take my cheese and I'm gonna put it on top of uh, my sausage hash browns, okay? And that is the Colby right there that I ground up or shredded. And I'm gonna just push this down in there just a little bit so I can have some cheese kind of incorporated with my sausage, just a hair, not too much just kind of shove it down in there a little bit okay and then I'm gonna take my eight ounces of Monterey Jack and I'm gonna put that on top of this and this is just some finely chopped Monterey Jack um, I did buy this already shredded <clears throat> and I'm gonna put this on here okay and now um, we're gonna pour our egg mixture over everything in this crock pot okay so let me get my egg mixture we mixed up and we're just gonna pour it over everything I just kind of try to drizzle it so I have a little bit everywhere and uh, Get out my pepper and then you just want to make sure it's spread it everywhere your egg mixture and you might have to season this after it cooks a while uh, it is completely up to you uh, if you don't achieve the the flavor or taste you would like and now all we're gonna do is we're gonna put our lid on this and we're gonna turn it on low setting um, we're going to turn it on the low setting and we're going to let this cook for six to eight hours okay and then we're going to come back in here and we're going to see what this looks like okay i'll see you guys in just a few all right now we're back it's been seven hours since we put our casserole in the crock pot so we're going to check and see um it should be done uh, it's going to be really hot uh, it looks done so we're gonna scoop some of our casserole out now it's gonna have a little bit of liquid around the edges from your cheese melting and stuff but there you go 
that's our hash browns, our eggs, and our sausage. And you can add some more pepper to it or whatever and put hot sauce or anything like that on it that you would like. But there you go. It just set for seven hours. And that's the results of our breakfast casserole. I hope you guys enjoy. And until we see each other next time, have a good night.